have put together another highly requested video and that's a food prep video so here's what I'm making today I got two big main meals and also a sweet treat this should prep you for four to five days now before we jump into the recipes I just want to share where I got my ingredients from I got these goodies from Thrive Market it's an online organic store and I put the links down in the description box and one of the biggest benefit about shopping at Thrive Market is that their price is 25 to 50 percent below retail price I found this coconut butter on the site for $8 while it's $25 in my local organic store and also it's normally around $27 in Australia so that's a steal and I've also listed out how you can get $60 worth of free organic groceries from Thrive Markets and also free shipping all down in the description box so you're welcome so real quick, here's all the ingredients that I'm going to be using today. I think I'm going to use most of them. I've got kelp. It is really important to get like high quality kelps. Um, so kelp is really high in iodine which is really good for thyroid. If you have hypothyroidism, it is good to have some kelp. And coconut wraps because I've been wanting to try it. Um, I've seen a lot of coconut wraps in like um, the groceries that I go to in Australia but it's like ten dollars so it's really expensive there and this is i think like seven dollars and it's pretty much impossible for me to find like sugar-free chocolate chips in australia or sugar-free chocolate bars so i found this on thrive market and i wanted to try it out i got some wild pink salmon as well it is really important to have well caught fish they are just a lot better for you i got some black beans and these are organic and non-gmo I reckon it is really important to have non-GMO products. Some kelp noodles, they are really low in calories, really high in minerals and iodine, so I really like it. And avocado mayonnaise, and this is sugar-free. Normally, it's really hard to find like sugar-free mayonnaise. Um, I've only seen a couple of brands with sugar-free mayonnaise, so I was really, really excited to get this. And some organic peanut butter because you know me i love my peanut butter and almond butter <laughs> so all these items are non-gmos and in my opinion it is really important to have non-genetically modified items so there's no artificial ingredients added to all of these things so yeah trying to live a healthy lifestyle here so before we get into cooking i'm just gonna give you guys a little update about my current diet I'm still doing intermittent fasting, I'm taking it quite easy. Sometimes I do have breakfast, sometimes I don't. But mostly I have two big main meals and that's the reason why I'm making two big meals today. And also because of my keto experience, I stopped eating sugar. And the only sweetener I have these days is stevia. And stevia is a natural sweetener uh, and it is calorie free. And it doesn't increase your blood sugar at all. So that's why I'm using stevia only. So today's recipes are all really quick and easy and even the cookies. It is a no-bake cookie. So yes, let's start cooking. Let's start with these delicious sugar-free no-bake cookies. These are literally the easiest cookies I've ever made. We need some peanut butter, cacao powder, almond nuts, vanilla extract, stevia and sugar-free chocolate chips. The exact measurements are always in the description box. First, chuck in the peanut butter, cacao powder, vanilla extract, stevia into the food processor. Process until smooth, then add almonds and pulse it once or twice. Don't over process it because it's going to turn really gooey. Take the mixture out and add some chocolate chips. And that's it. Place it in the freezer for half an hour, then it's ready. This cookie is really tasty, but if you don't like the taste of stevia, you can use other sweetener. I normally have this either in the morning or as a little treat after my meals. The second recipe we have today is beef coconut wrap. This is really simple as well and it is so delicious. I really really love it. Uh, we need a kilo of minced beef, half an onion, two peppers, a carrot, black beans, tomato paste, apple cider vinegar, cumin powder and ginger powder which is optional. I'm going to cook my minced beef first and once that's brown, I'm going to add some salt, 
cumin, ginger, tomato paste and stir fry it for a while, for a minute. And finally add the apple cider vinegar. You can also add the vegetables to the mix or you can cook them separately. I normally cook them together because it's faster but for the purpose of this video, I split them so that my dish looks a little more colourful, a little bit more fun. <laughs> So once that's done, you can split them into 4 or 5 equal portions. I would normally add my avocado on the spot like when I want to eat them because avocado gets brown very quickly. So when you want to eat these, just heat them up in the oven or microwave and have it in a coconut wrap. It is really, really delicious guys. The coconut wrap gives a really nice fresh aftertaste which is really, really nice. You don't actually have to heat up the coconut wrap if you don't want to. The texture is really nice on its own. And I've also added a bit of the avocado mayo in my wrap and it is so good. I know I've said that many times but it is really, really good. The last recipe today is super quick and easy. It's not gonna take any longer than 5 minutes to prep. So you gotta try this out. It is a fresh kelp noodle salad. It is so fresh, so delicious. This is something that's quite new to me as well. I never had kelp noodles before. Um, they are really really crunchy and if you add some salad dressing on top of it, it's gonna soften up a little. For the salad, you're going to need a couple of bags of chopped cabbages, carrots, a bag of kelp noodles and some green onions as well. And for the dressing, you'll need about 2 to 4 limes depending on how big your limes are, some salt, 5 tablespoons of peanut butter or less or more depending on how you like it. If you're allergic to peanut, you can use almond butter too. You're gonna need some ginger and some salt as well. If you can't be bothered making your own dressing, then just use this avocado mayo. It tastes really nice with the salad as well. Now just chuck in the ginger, lime juice, peanut butter and salt into the food processor and process it until it's smooth. You can also add a little bit of water to dilute it, so just adjust it based on your personal liking. And that's pretty much done. Now all you have to do is to split the vegetables into 4 or 5 containers. Add the kelp noodles. This kelp noodles only requires you to rinse it, so it is so fast and easy. Then add half an avocado. I really recommend you to only cut up your avocado when you want to eat them. So just chop it into like little pieces and add it to your salad. Then chuck in half a can of salmon or a full can of salmon and toss them. Make sure you mix it well with the sauce and that's it. It's really simple. So you can alternate the ginger sauce with the mayo if you get bored of just using one sauce. You can also use other type of salad dressings um, like ranch or whatnot. I just finished my meal prep and I'm really really happy with how everything turned out. So when you want to have the salad, just chop up the avocado, put in some sauces. You can either use this or that, they are both really really good. And half a can of salmon in here. So this is really really yummy. Cookies is really nice too, I really really like it. But if you don't like the taste of stevia, you can use other sweetener. And last but not least, I love this coconut wrap. Oh my goodness, it tastes so nice and fresh. So I had my vegetables in here. Oh my god. Uh, my avocado. Um, the avocado sauce because I wanted a little bit more fat in there. <laughs> and it tastes so good. I love it so much. Um, yeah, that's all for today's video. Please remember to check out the link in my description box if you want some free groceries. And also, don't forget to smash the like button if you like this video or if you want more meal prep videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!